Hold the ball. Demian. Demian. Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm your host, William Brandon. That's my co-host, Demi. If you could, please make sure you follow us at Atlanta Sports Unlimited, the YouTube channel. It's very simple. Just pull up YouTube, type in Atlanta Sports Unlimited or the William Brandon. Once you do that, it'll pull up the videos. Click on the video you want to look at and then click on the red subscribe button at the bottom right. Also, if you could, make sure you follow us on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all by the same name, The William Brandon. Yeah. Well, the off season has officially begun. You got player cuts, free agency. Before you know it, it'll be the NFL draft, then training camp, and hey, the regular season. I, I know I'm moving a little too fast, so let's back it up and slow it down a bit. But it is the off season, and player cuts and free agency is right around the corner. The Falcons are in the hole $20.2 million right now for this year's upcoming salary cap. So they've got to find a way to make some changes because that's a lot of money. Me. Don't worry your pretty little <laughs> head about that. With the Falcons being that much money in the hole, they've got to make changes. So what's going to happen? They're going to have to restructure some player contracts and they're going to have to do player cuts. Unfortunately, the player cuts has already begun. Last Thursday, the Atlanta Falcons parted ways with longtime free safety Ricardo Allen, freeing up a little over $6 million. They also cut Allen Bailey, freeing up $4.5 million. So as you can see, player cuts are already beginning. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, I understand that Ricardo Allen is a fan favorite, but unfortunately the Falcons have to do something to free up money. And one of the other things they're going to have to do is restructure player contracts. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. Matt Ryan cap hit will be a little over $40 million this year. And Julio Jones's cap hit will be close to $23 million. So we know those players are not going anywhere, but the Falcons have to get those guys in the office and they have to come up with a plan to restructure that contract. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so yes, they're, again, they're going to have to try and do that. And if they want to get other free agents that can help fill holes. Speaking of free agents, the Falcons have their own set of free agents that will go on the market, like I said, a little less than a month from now. Alex Mack, running back Todd Gurley, cornerback DeMonte KZ, and safety Keanu Neal. Mack. Mack. Well, it's going to be hard to try to retain all those guys. Nevertheless, the offseason has begun, so there will be more player cuts. There should be some restructurings going on, and eventually maybe the Falcons can sign one or two free agents. Again, we want to thank you for always joining and tuning in with us. I'm your host, William Brandon. That's my co-host, Demi. <laughs> Please make sure you subscribe to the Atlanta Sports Unlimited channel as well as our William Brandon channel on YouTube. Again, thank you everyone. I hope you have a great day. Continue to stay safe. Bye-bye everyone. Bye.